All right, we got a nice easy lesson today. At least it's a fast lesson, I'll tell you that. It's only two pages. It's called Writing Exponential Equations. Okay, so Unit 6, Lesson 2. We just refresh your memory from yesterday. An exponential function with the base b is defined by this formula, f of x equals a times b to the x power, where a is not equal to 0, b is greater than 0, b cannot be equal to 1, because if b is 1, you're raising 1 to a power, it just stays 1. So b cannot be 1, and x is any real number. So again, the base b is constant, and the exponent x is a variable. So here's example one. Write an exponential function, so it's going to be in this form. It says it right here. In the form f of x equals a times b to the x power for a graph that includes the points 2, 3, and 4, 27. I'm going to start by copying down this form right here, but I'm just going to use y instead of f of x. Okay? I'll say y equals a times b to the x power. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write two equations. First, I'll start with this point. I'm going to replace the y with 27, and I'm going to replace the x with 4. Like this. I'm going to say 27 equals a times b to the fourth power. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing with, with this point. I'll replace the y with 3, and I'll replace the x with 2. So I'm going to say 3 equals a times b to the second power. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide them. Okay, I'm going to divide them. So when I divide them, I get the following. I get 27 divided by 3 gives me 9. A divided by A, well, that just divides out. There's nothing left there. B to the fourth power divided by B squared gives you B squared because you subtract the exponents. Now, remember above. It says b has, has to be greater than 0. So b cannot be negative. It has to be greater than 0. Um, so if you were to solve this, you would take the square root of each side. And normally, you would take the positive and negative square root. But we don't want the negative. We just want the positive. So when you solve that for b, you get b equals 3. 3 equals b, or b equals 3. Okay. So you're trying to solve for A and B. We just solved for B. Now we have to solve for A. So now you go back into either equation that you want. I'll pick the easier one, so I'll pick the smaller one. 3 equals A times B squared. And replace the B with 3 because B equals 3. Solve that for A. 3 squared is 9. So 3 equals A times 9. Divide each side by 9. You get 3 divided by 9 equals A. So in other words, A equals 1 third. And you simplify. Now let's go back into our Original equation, a times b to the x power. You can put f of x instead of y if you want. I'll just leave the y there. Replace the a with the third, and replace the b with 3. Okay, let's do the same thing for example 2 y or f of x equals a times b to the x power. I'm going to write two equations. First, I'll start with this point. Replace the y at 48 and replace the x with 7. We're going to divide by, replace the y with 6, and replace the x with 4. <coughs> 
when you divide, you're going to get 8 equals b cubed. 48 divided by 6 is 8. The a's divide out. b to the 7th divided by b to the 4th. Subtract the exponent, and you get b cubed. So we've done this already. If b cubed equals 8, that means b equals the cube root of 8. In other words, b equals 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So now go back into either equation that you want. I will pick the easier one. Okay, so I'll pick the bottom one. 6 equals a times b to the fourth power. And we just established that b equals 2. Two times two times two times two is 16. That means six divided by 16 equals a. Let's simplify that. Let's say a equals three eighths. Okay. Now our formula y equals a times b to the x power and we know that a is 3 eighths and we know that b is 2. Again, make sure you leave your answer like this. Do not make it 6 over 8 when you multiply and then make it 3 fourths. Don't do that. Don't do 1 third times 3 is 1. Don't do that. Okay? These are the final answers. Okay. One word problem. An online store begins selling a new type of basketball shoe. In week two, 60 pairs were sold. In week four, 240 pairs were sold. Write an exponential model that relates the number of shoes and pairs sold to the week number. So let's, let's make an order to pay. Let's do 2 comma 60 for week 2. The other one, let's make an order to pay 4 comma 240. And now it's just like example 1 and example 2. y equals a times b to the x power. Let's write our two equations. 240. equals a times b to the fourth power. And then 60 equals a times b to the second power. Okay, and now we're going to divide those two. Divide those two equations. 240 divided by 60 gives you 4. The a's divide out b to the fourth divided by b to the second power, subtract the exponents, and you get b squared. Now remember back to the first page, okay? b is going to be greater than zero. So when you solve this, you take the square root of each side, and back in unit three, we would take the positive and negative square roots, but we're not doing the negatives because we want b to be greater than zero. So the square root of four gives you just two equals b, or b equals two. Now we're going to go back into either equation that you want. I'm going to pick the easier one, so I'll pick the bottom one. Okay. And we just established that b equals 2. So 60 equals a times 2 squared. In other words, 60 equals a times 4. Divide by 4, and you get 15 equals a, or a equals 15. All right, so we have our a value, and we have our b value. Perfect. Let's go back into our equation. y equals a times b to the x power, and let's replace the a with 15, and let's replace the b with 2. 
And again, do not make that 30 to the x power because that is not the answer. It's 15 times 2 to the x power. Order of operations. That's all I have for that lesson. Like I said, it was a fast lesson. That lesson was called Writing Exponential Equations.